for most people. The business breakfast was held at Gateway Hotel. The room packed to capacity. Organizers said tickets were sold out within three days. Julie Gillard acknowledged the work of the chamber while expressing confidence in PNG's economy. She spoke on trade between the two countries. Over the past five years, two-way trade has increased rapidly to more than 16 billion kina. The balance of trade stands by more than $1 billion in Papua New Guinea's favour. Australian investment, which has grown fivefold over five years to more than 41 billion kina, shows the confidence Australian business has in this country. The visa issue was addressed. Gillard says visa processing will be increased by 25% with the introduction of an online visitor visa application in a few weeks' time. These are online systems so that that makes it much easier for people to, uh, you know, jump online and get their application done uh, rather than having to prevent, uh, present physically anywhere. She noted the government's focus on infrastructure development, revealing her government would invest 396 million kina on development assistance. Last night during a state dinner, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill expressed disappointment about Australia's attitude on issuing visas. Our people find existing visa arrangements very frustrating. Some regard them as insulting. He questioned why citizens of 40 other countries were allowed visa on arrival while Australia's nearest neighbour was excluded. Meredith Kusa, National, MTV News.